We are getting visuals of Sheikh Hasina, the Bangladesh PM, who is in India for a two-day visit. Diplomatically, ties are going to be boosted between the two nations. Now, she arrived in India yesterday. She's on a two-day visit to India and essentially is going to be boosting ties between the two nations. It's significantly, very significant, because what happened is that the that uh, Sheikh Hasina, the Bangladesh, the, the Bangladesh PM, was actually here. This is the second visit that she's made in the last few weeks. She was actually present at the swearing-in ceremony of Prime Minister Modi, on the sidelines of which they also held a crucial bilateral. Now she is here for a two-day visit, and ties are expected to be boosted on multiple fronts when it comes to multiple sectors between both Bangladesh and India. Right now, you can see that there is a ceremonial welcome that as is being given to Sheikh Hasina. Importantly as well, this is uh, multiple bilateral consultations are on the cards, especially with the External Affairs Minister, S. J. Shankar, as well. Now, as the greetings continue, we will give you more context about Sheikh Hasina and how significant this particular visit is. It is, in fact, the first visit by an international leader after the Prime Minister Narendra Modi had sworn in for a third term itself. Remember, Sheikh Hasina was one of the international leaders who had attended the swearing-in ceremony of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi that had taken place. And when it comes to this particular significance, we are going to be seeing more forgeries when it comes to the multifaceted relationship that the two nations share. Again, multiple ties along the lines of sharing historical ties, cultural, and as well as being geographically in close connection with each other. That is one, uh, those are multiple aspects that are again going to be built upon. Right now, you can see the ceremonial welcome for the Bangladesh PM, Sheikh Hasina. Now, when we talk about the past and the previous relationship that both India and Bangladesh have held, last year, in particular, was a very significant year for the two nations. There was a spur of bilateral activity that had taken place and strengthened the relationship between the two ties. In fact, last year itself, both of the Prime Ministers had jointly inaugurated the India-Bangladesh friendship pipeline. That was last year in March. That was done virtually. But she had also participated virtually in multiple sessions that were held, where that includes the inaugural session of the Voice of the Global South Summit that had taken place earlier last year. And as well, she also attended the second summit of the virtual voice of the global south that had also taken place in the second half of last year beyond this bangladesh was a guest country which had been invited to india's g20 presidency which took place last year and saw multiple nations of course attend to the g20 where india presided over it now you can see right now she is meeting leaders she, you can see that she is with the prime minister at this point greeting multiple members and political leaders she is exchanging greetings. The Prime Minister is, of course, there. They are going to be holding bilaterals today. And it's not just with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi that bilaterals are going to be held. There is also going to be a conversation that's going to be held with the External Affairs Minister, who is Dr. Dr. S. J. Shankar. But also, when it comes to the ties that the two nations share, uh, we are going to be seeing a significant boost when it comes to the historical, cultural, and socioeconomic ties. What eventually comes out of this conversation, this diplomatic visit, awaits to be seen. But at this point, a ceremonial welcome is being given to the Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina. Again, Prime Minister Modi and Sheikh Hasina are walking along and greeting those on the sidelines who are watching the ceremonial welcome as well. Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina is on a two-day visit to India at this point. Now, importantly, this is the first incoming bilateral state visit after the formation of the, of the NDA government for the third time. Remember, Sheikh Hasina was one of the international leaders 
who was who did attend the swearing in ceremony of Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his historic third term. Now, later in the day, when it comes to the itinerary, there are going to be bilaterals that are going to be held between the two leaders of the nations.